So I'm Kiara Powell. I am CareWell's nursing consultant, and I help to answer customer questions that require medical or clinical knowledge. And I provide input on product selections to ensure that we at CareWell are offering the highest quality products that meet our caregivers' needs. I am joined today by Judy Borchard, who represents Tranquility, and we are going to discuss the company's approach to creating excellent products for those living with incontinence, as well as share some valuable tips and tactics for caregivers while we're at it. So thank you for joining us, Judy. Can you share a bit about your background with nursing and also with Tranquility? Absolutely. Thanks, Kiara. Um, and thanks to, for those that are viewing and, and joining us today. Uh, I have been a nurse. I think unlike you, uh, Kiara, who, who seems to be a young uh, new nurse, I've been in, in nursing for well over 35, 36 years. And uh, as many nurses throughout their career, um, we, we experience many different branches of healthcare and, and I was no different. So I started out as a floor nurse and then went to ER and and ended up, you know, through the the um, the branches, school nursing, teaching, um, and then home health hospice. And then in 2009, I started to um, I was introduced to a company who was um, in need of a clinician, a consultant for various um, products that they were introducing to the public. And so I started to serve people in a very different capacity. And in 2010, uh, was introduced to a manufacturer of super incontinence products, um, Principal Business Enterprise, which is who I consult with today. And uh, it just shook my world, changed everything and my perspective on moisture management and incontinence and just really um, the impact of incontinence and moisture um, management on not only the wearer, of our products or any absorbent products, but also how it impacts the caregiver. And so that's been my journey for the past 12 years is to really uh, pay close attention to and to serve those uh, incontinent individuals, those suffering, suffering with moisture issues, uh, and also to uh, address the caregiver's needs as well. Thank you. And Judy, I admire you. I hope that one day I am still here doing nursing for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the greatest thing. So no regrets. No yes. regrets. It's very rewarding. Yes, so very us, much so. Why, I'm sorry. So, why is Tranquility a good option for caregivers? That's a great question. So I'll, I'll kind of start back. I mentioned a little bit ago that uh, I've been with uh, a company that manufactures Tranquility for about 12 years. And when I was first introduced to them, um, I will say that it, it really just kind of uh, messed with me. This product that absorbed and retained fluid like nothing I had ever seen before. Um, I was caring for individuals in the home previous to that. And I saw just the, the um, the, the uh, decline in quality of life for both the, the individual, the wearer and the caregiver. And it was, it was pretty disturbing. And so when I was introduced to this um, product that uh, was just so unique and different, uh, I was just uh, amazed and thought, okay, I've got to tell people about this. So that's been my journey. Um, it, Tranquility is just a very different product for several reasons. Um, and we'll get into those in, in just a little bit. But one of the main, um, the main benefits of tranquility is the absorbency. Um, the absorb but we can't talk about the absorbency of the product without using the word retention. And so it's, it's really a super absorbent uh, line of products that not only absorbs fluid or urine, but it also retains it, which allows an individual to uh, have a quality of life that hopefully is maintained um, or to improve a quality of life if they, they didn't have a, a social um, life or if they're bedridden or whatever the circumstance might be. So Tranquility is just very unique. Um, it's very unique in its design. It is designed to function um, as a super absorbent product. So in other words, uh, it, it, it does hold a, a lot of fluid, a lot of urine. It, it wicks that fluid, that urine uh, quickly into the core of the product and it retains it, it locks it in. And it's designed that way to allow real life protection for the wearers of the product. 
our goal is that these individuals can live life um, as they did prior to uh, tranquility or prior to incontinence or to at least maintain a quality of life if they're not able to do that. Uh, but again, I always want to mention in the same um, in, in the same way the caregivers are just as important in their quality of life. And so these are not only designed to impact the wear, but also uh, the quality of life. So we would say it uh, with Tranquility products that um, it's the design, uh, the technology that's really important as well. All products are um, contain SAP. SAP, which is really super absorbent polymers. And if you've seen a baby diaper and you've, you've pulled it apart or you've seen it in water, uh, you see how it, this stuff inside gels and that's called the super absorbent polymer. So every brand has it, uh, but every brand is different. Um, they use uh, different types of polymers. Some use um, uh, different um, levels of polymer, different quantities, and that's uh, that's why we're so unique. We use a very high quality uh, super absorbent polymer, these components that absorb many times their weight in fluid, um, and they retain the fluid. Not only do they retain the fluid, but with tranquility, uh, our super absorbent polymer also neutralizes the odor. So uh, it's the design too, it's where these polymers are placed within the product, the brief or the pull-on or our booster pads or whatever it may be, our, our pads, um, uh, under pads. It's where they're placed um, strategically. The sap is, uh, is placed uh, in particular places to absorb and to retain that fluid, depending on what level of incontinence or, or absorption you're looking for, or um, appropriate to a certain circumstance. So SAP is, is one key uh, feature for the Tranquility products. Um, there are different testing methods. Uh, so one way may ask, well, how, how do you test for absorbency? Because if every product has absorbency, and again, all, all these products are different, all the brand names out there, um, manufacturers have different benefits and features to their products. So they're all gonna perform a little bit different. Um, so uh, there are mainstream testing methods for absorbency. So if you go to the box store and you get a, a, a brief or a pull-on from the store, um, their testing in, in those products are very different than the way Tranquility is tested. Um, they use a method, uh, ISO method, where they literally submerge the core of the brief, the, the absorbent part of the brief or the, uh, the product into fluid, into water, uh, and then they, they keep it there for a designated period of time. And then they, they bring it out and they lay it on a screen that drains all the fluid from it. And so they let it to drain for a certain amount of time until it doesn't drip anymore. And then they weigh that, that, that core. Um, and that weight then corresponds to ounces and how much it absorbs. Um, the, the issue with that is that if you apply pressure to that, it's kind of like the sponge method, you can absorb quite a bit of fluid, but when you put pressure to it, and we, we talk about real life circumstances where there's pressure of a body on that core of that product, when that pressure is applied, then the, the uh, fluid runs out or is gonna sit up against the skin. So the testing we do in the Tranquility Labs is very different. We do the same thing, we submerge the core uh, in water fluid and we take it out but we spin it we put it through a spinner right away and uh, anything that is not absorbed into the polymer into our super absorbent polymer is is drained out and then we weigh that once the extra fluid is gone we weigh that core and that then correlates to ounces and then we can tell you exactly how much it absorbs and retains because retention is really the key here. We want it to absorb the fluid, but we also want it to retain it. So we do something very different than the mainstream. Um, you'll also notice that the mainstream usually um, will, will uh, communicate their absorbency by drops. So you'll see on packaging, three, four drops, one drop, and that just kind of indicates the level of absorbency or how much it will hold. 
uh, with Tranquility products, we communicate our absorbency in cups, which we believe is a, a better visual for somebody looking at a package or trying to determine how much does this really hold? How much, you know, how void? So we, we do know that a void is about anywhere from eight to 12 ounces, um, which is about 250 cc's milliliters uh, and probably a, a good void. So if we on our package have two cups of fluid, then you can be assured that that product is gonna hold about two voids, which to me is a little better to understand, a little, little easier to understand, makes more sense to me than, um, than the drops. So we communicate uh, real life protection by cups and ounces on our, on our packages. So it really is, um, just to wrap all that up, Every product is very different. Uh, Tranquility is very unique in its design, in its um, just the way it's put together strategically um, places the sap in areas that are going to be very um, productive in, in protecting that uh, wear. And, and as I go through and talk about protecting the wear, we, we want to make sure that we also think about the caregiver. Because if, if the brief or the pull-on or the product is doing what it needs to do for that wearer, then that means the caregiver's tasks, their, their days, everything's going to go better. So there's really a parallel there. So when we take really good care of that, that uh, wearer, that individual that is dealing with incontinence, then the caregiver is going to be much happier as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. That's really good insight. I didn't realize what testing went into the product. And it's also sure. not everyone tests against pressure, which is I feel like it would be something that is more common. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's what we call real life protection uh, because it is all about, you know, reality. I mean, we 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 talk about sponges absorbing, but you, you certainly want to wouldn't want to sit on one, right? That's full of fluid. Exactly. And Judy, given your experience, do you have any tips for caregivers who are struggling to help manage incontinence with their loved ones? Sure. You know, some of the tips that come to my mind, um, th think of the loved ones and think of the benefits that a product will deliver. Um, and then also consider how those benefits to the one that you're caring for are going to benefit you because your life is really as is important as the one you're caring for. Um, so as I mentioned previously, you wanna make sure that you, you have a product that is going to, to deliver a good night's sleep. Sleep is so important. And Carrie, you know, as a nurse, uh, you know, their sleep impacts every cell in your body. Good and bad, lack of sleep does the same as a good night's sleep does, right? Our bodies heal when we sleep. So. Um, our cognitive ability is, is improved or maintained. So there's just, it impacts everything. So it's important to find a product that can hopefully get somebody either through the night for a sleep cycle or close to that extended hours of sleep. Uh, what you don't want is a product that's going to wake someone up every two hours and then you wake the caregiver up. And not only are you going in the in room and changing the brief, but they've leaked and now you're dealing with bedding and clothing. And so it's really important again to find a, a product that not only absorbs, but retains that fluid and is not going to come out. So sleep is is just really important. Fewer bed changes, fewer clothing clothing changes. It's less stress on the caregiver, less interruption for that individual wearing the product or the incontinent. Um, odor. You know, odor is a, is a big one. Not all products neutralize the odor. Tranquility is really good at neutralizing the odor. It's all about that super absorbent polymer. But again, this goes back to a dignity. So incontinence, um, there's a whole story about dignity and quality of life that we want to we wanna either improve or maintain. It's very important. It matters. And so odor is part of that. So find a product that you know, um, really can, can neutralize that and that leaks less or that prevents leakage so that it's not on furniture and clothing and all of that. And then skin is just uh, a, a huge issue, especially in the elderly. 
um, their skin is compromised. And we, we know that moisture up against the skin for prolonged periods of time is not good. It's not healthy. Uh, it it's, can be a, a, a predisposed to a pressure injury in that sacral area. Uh, moisture and heat entrapment are, are two of the risks. So we want to be real careful and cautious to always consider the skin and keep the skin as dry and healthy as possible, maintain a healthy microclimate within that area where the product is. So I would say, you know, um, quality of life, dignity, make sure you're taking care of yourself. If you, if the patient needs a good night's sleep, that means you do too. You know, um, fewer bed changes, fewer uh, clothing changes matters to you as well. Those are just a few, few tips. Um, yeah. No, those are great tips. Especially you have to take care of yourself before you take care of yourself. That's right. That's really that's important. right. It really is. There are, that's right. That's right. There there are some myths that um, you know, we always like to call out just to there's there's uh, many times just this gap in education and knowledge for for the caregivers and and one thing that we always want to identify is double double diapering. Um you know, you would think uh, in our minds, we think, my goodness, I'm going to double protect them. I'm going to put two briefs or two pull-ons um, during the night to really make sure that that uh, they're covered. And the, the harm in that is that every brief, every product has a, a plastic lining, a backing to prevent it from leaking onto the sheets and, and going for urine to just run through. So they're all, it's just a protection. Um, when you double diaper, you're really not gaining more absorbency. You're you're actually trapping in more heat. It's more uncomfortable. You may be trapping in moisture against the skin, which is going to be harmful. So double diapering is really it's uncomfortable. It's really not um, proper to do that. Best practices. Um, we talk about barrier creams. We goop on barrier creams because we think a barrier cream is really healthy and. And we know that um, our skin needs to breathe and uh, Tranquility does a great job of absorbing that fluid away from the skin. So barrier creams becomes minimal. You, you just use less is, less is best, not more is better. And many times that barrier cream can rub off on the surface of the brief and it blocks the pores of the brief and doesn't allow the urine to soak in. So it actually creates a barrier on the brief. Uh, one of the other ones is just restricting fluids. Some families and caregivers believe they need to restrict fluids so that their loved one doesn't, or their the one they're caring for doesn't uh, it doesn't void so much at night. And we don't ever want to uh, restrict fluids. We want to make sure that we do the proper things throughout the daytime to make sure they're getting enough fluid and they're balancing all of that out. Never say no if somebody's thirsty, uh, and always make sure that they void before they go to bed. So those are just a few of the things that we always like to talk about, um, just to kind of put to, to rest that some may be doing just innocently thinking they're protecting their, the caring, the person they're caring for uh, even better. I'm glad that you mentioned the barrier cream argument as well, because we get lots of questions about barrier creams and what kinds to use, how do I use it? And you made a great point saying that it could also block the flow of the sure. To those briefs. Sure. We have sure. recommendations on those who would like to use barrier creams on ways to do that in um, combination with the brief. Yeah. So we always say, uh, Kara, that just a pea size, it's always good to just um, not goop it on. And I used to do it as a young nurse, you know, we would just goop that on and, and really cover them well. But it's also many of them are, are the zinc oxide, which is a kind of a sticky, almost a Vaseline. Those are even hard to wash off. So when you think of taking a washcloth or a, any kind of a, a cloth and trying to wash that off when you're bathing a person with compromised skin, then you run the risk of skin tears or even uh, damaging the skin further. So we, we want to make sure that if we are using that, it's just a very thin layer that's going to be easy to come off, won't rub off onto the brief. Um, and then you're just protecting that area that is impacted, not the entire um, bottom. Thank you for touching on that. That was really helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. The other thing I think, as I mentioned, double diapering, um, booster pads 
are a great option for additional absorbency. So if you were to wear a, a brief or pull on and you're going out for a social event and you're just really fearful or you're taking a loved one to a wedding or whatever and you think, I just need some extra extra protection. That's where booster pads and booster pads, the, the whole idea of a booster pad is that it flows through. So the urine will flow through to the host garment. So if you put it inside a pull on or a brief, you are gonna have some added protection. That fluid will, will fill up the booster pad and then flow onto the host garment once that's filled. Perfect, thank you, thank you. And then- You're so welcome. Out that you would like to add about Tranquility or the products that you guys offer? Yeah, so again, I think I would just um, reiterate that not all products are the same. Um, in fact, uh, with caregivers, I think there's a known fact that uh, they may search six, seven brands, try six or seven different brands before they actually find the one that works for them. And I would say, and the reason for that is because they're all made differently. They're all, um, none of them are created, you know, no, they're not all created equal. And so uh, really search for that one that's going to meet your needs. And again, Tranquility has a full line of products that meets the needs of all levels of incontinence and moisture um, issues. So I, I always tell people that I'm consulting is there's not an issue, moisture issue that's, that Tranquility can't, can't solve for you. And um, Tranquility is great because it, it really stands behind their, behind their products and guarantees. Uh, everything I just spoke with you, you know, those, uh, the absorbency and the retention and the skin and the odor. And so they, they put their, um, you know, stamp on all of that and stand by their products with sure con confidence. So uh, it, it's a great product. But I always, you know, remember to find something that's going to benefit. The benefit is what you're, the benefits are what you're looking for. And it's going to benefit not only the person you're caring for, but also you as the caregiver. Thank you, Judy. And thank you for all those you're great You're so welcome. Things. You're so welcome. I feel like I could listen to you talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it was helpful. Uh, you know, there's, there, again, there's, there is a, such a knowledge gap and, um, caregivers do their best to care for these individuals. And there's a lot of challenges in caring for individuals with incontinence. Incontinence is one of the reasons why um, elderly especially are, are um, admitted to skilled facilities. And so I admire these caregivers for, for wanting to keep their spouses and their parents at home and their children um, and care for them at home. But there are challenges and uh, we're here to help. Well, thank you again, and thank you for taking the so welcome to, know, to share more about Tranquility's products. I'm sure it was insightful for me and also the audience who be watching. And for those watching, please, please feel free to leave a comment or questions in below. We'll be sure to keep the conversation going. And thank you again for joining us. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you.